world is in great need of sustainable energy solutions and we're really excited to be playing a role in developing the technologies that will allow us to harness those. Renewable Engine is committed to helping develop the innovative technologies that will allow us then to harness more sustainable sources of energy to combat climate change. It's important because it fills the gap in between academia and industry. We're two years on now from our launch event for Renewable Engine and already we're starting to see some of our outputs being rolled out into industry. Uh, from a student's perspective, they're part of a wider cohort of researchers. Uh, they have access to shared facilities and expertise and they have opportunities to collaborate and work together on research publications and the core work themselves. For industry partners, it helps foster their innovation because they mightn't necessarily have the personnel or the expertise in-house to dedicate the time towards that innovation and new product development. Renewable Engine is part of a cross-border cohort of research institutions within Northern Ireland, the border counties of Ireland and Western Scotland. So within Northern Ireland we have Southwest College as the lead partner, Queen's University Belfast, the Advanced Forming Research Centre over at University of Strathclyde and we have IT Sligo in the Republic of Ireland. As a project we're committed to supporting local manufacturing companies and supporting them to innovate and develop new technologies that will be commercialised and eventually brought to market. We're absolutely delighted with the progress of the Renewable Engine project. It's absolutely seamless uh, and the benefits are obviously we've, we've shared cultures so that makes uh, life a little bit easier and then it's access to expertise and equipment and facilities and access to companies that we wouldn't have if we weren't part of the cross-border collaboration. In the real world, uh, in terms of our particular project, you will have an anaerobic digester which is essentially on the back of uh, an 18-wheeler truck that travels around to uh, various farms, collects the waste for them, does some treatment on site, some treatment elsewhere. It makes anaerobic digestion accessible. Agriculture is such a big part of our economic sector. We'll be working with our Northern Ireland companies who will be more advanced and have well developed the technology. Um, it, it also gives you a different perspective of how the different agriculture sectors operate. Two years uh, on in the Renewable Engine project, we've been really busy. In the west of Scotland, we have uh, Booth Welsh, um, Ellie uh, is working on uh, augmented reality uh, to hopefully help with the maintenance of offshore wind turbines. Uh, Maria is working uh, on a technical economic app for uh, Doosan uh, to help with their fuel cells. This is not quite a traditional PhD. Um, they're not just sitting at a desk for the next three years and, and doing studies. The important thing about Renewable Engine is it's really kind of direct, it's what, the, it's what the companies want. So it's not quite as abstract maybe as some traditional research. We've found the companies that are prepared to innovate are the ones that survive. My project is jointly supervised by the University of Strathclyde, Dijon Babcock and Southwest College in Northern Ireland. So the collaboration with Dijon Babcock has been very fruitful for my project so far. Not only due to the access into industry data, but also because different ideas and ways of thinking are brought together and we can see the applicability and usefulness of our research in real world case studies. So as part of the Renewable Engine Project, I'm based at the AFRC here at Strathclyde um, and I'm also partnered with an industrial partner, Booth Welsh. This is a big up and coming technology at the moment. This can be applied to a lot of industries and a lot of places. Um, so I'm hoping in a few years time, we'll be seeing this kind of technology all over the place. Working with our colleagues in, in, in Monaghan, they get to, to work with a, with a large university and get access to the research facilities of the university. And also working with our colleagues in, in Sligo, we, have, uh, we can bounce ideas off each other, we can uh, get access to various equipment that they have and we have, etc. So my project is uh, developing new nano catalysts for the direct conversion of biogenic CO2 to sustainable fuels. At the minute, most anaerobic digester plants don't actually utilise their CO2, so it goes to waste. So obviously that's adding to global warming. Being part of Renewable Engine means that I can work with IT Sligo or University of Strathclyde. I obviously have quite a lot of links here with Queen's. I can get 
analysis done at those other universities that I maybe wouldn't be able to get done ordinarily. So being part of a much wider cohort of researchers means that I can get extra things done that I wouldn't normally. We're already starting to see research outputs from Renewable Engine be used in the development of innovative technologies and we're excited to see those commercialised and eventually brought to market. And it's a real privilege and exciting uh, to be playing a role in finding those new technologies that are going to help us develop a more sustainable world for us all.